Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you are all doing very well. I am very excited about today's video because it's going to be a Bridgerton related video as you can see from the title. Bridgerton is one of my top favorite shows. I binge watched it when it was up um, last year. So the first season actually and I watched it like twice, once alone and once with my mom and we both are obsessed with that show and season two is back tomorrow. So I'm just like so excited. I'm probably not gonna watch it this weekend because I'm a bit busy but I'll definitely watch it the weekend after. Um, I mean, I guess I'll be spoiled a little bit on the internet, but whatever. So looking forward to the new season. I feel like it's gonna be a totally different dynamics and um, the outfits look amazing. And yeah, so, so excited. And I had to do a video related to Bridgerton because not only do I love that show, but I also love the aesthetic of the show, uh, which is pretty rare. I really feel like it's the perfect mix between kind of royalty, uh, very princessy, but also like cottagecore, feminine, and yeah, I just I love it. I feel like they did such a good job even though they say it's not really historically correct or whatever That's not really the point um, I just love the aesthetic overall and I decided to do another Bridgerton video because I did do one last year I think it was actually in March as well. I did different little hairstyles Go check it out if you haven't yet I will link it around the screen and you can find it on my channel too, but today I'm doing something a bit different I'm not gonna do like a get the look um, Video because I feel like that's not really what I want to show you guys and there's other other people, other YouTubers who do that so much better than I can. Like they do perfect makeup looks, they do perfect hairstyles, they even find the exact outfits. Like there's other YouTubers who are great at doing that. Me, it's not really my thing. I prefer actually twisting things a little bit. So for example, today is going to be a haul inspired by Bridgerton fashion. So it's inspired. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the exact same look. So I looked at the silhouettes. I looked at the colors. I love the colors. I looked at some details, but I don't think I'm going to keep everything for sure. I have like a few pieces that I'm sure I'm going to keep. The others I'm just going to send back, but at least I want to show you guys. And if you want to get any of the pieces, I link them all in the description box right below. I think I'm going to start first with tops so i just found a few tops that were super inspired by bridgerton so for example i'm gonna put a bunch of clothes up so you can see much better but the shirt i'm wearing right now it's actually like a little crop top you can't really see on camera right here um it's a little cropped but i would wear this in summer with maybe white shorts but this type of silhouette is exactly what i saw a lot in season one and also in season two they have these little puff sleeves and especially around here it's as if the bust is a little bit higher so here it's not so so much the case but it feels like it's a little bit more cinched around here um, which is definitely a silhouette I've seen a lot. They do wear a lot of pastels. I've seen a lot of baby blue, a lot of lilac. I've seen a lot of yellow, orange, always like pastel tones, but they do wear white a little bit too. And I feel like if you want to wear it like every day and you're not really into pastels, this is the perfect thing. And this is such a cute top. This is actually from Abercrombie, if I'm not mistaken. I got it in a size M. So I would say definitely take your size for this particular shirt. Another shirt I got, but from Miss guided this time is this one. This is such a pretty color. It's a peachy color. There's a small little uh, flowers. I'm gonna try to show you a close-up. So as you can see, there's little flowers all over um, and it's peach and here the sleeves are sheer and it's a little bit puffed. I feel not maybe as much as these small ones, but they're pretty puffed and they're also longer sleeve. It's also a little crop top. So once again, with little shorts in summer, I feel like that would look so good. I got a size eight for this one. Um, not sure if I'm gonna keep it though, because it's not really a color I wear so much, but I definitely love it. And I feel like this screams Bridgerton, especially when they wear like a lot of peach and orange. So this is the second shirt I got. And this one is, I think this is from the brand Nelly or something like, like that or NL yeah it's Nelly so I've never heard about that brand before this is it so I don't know if you can tell on the camera I'm gonna be wearing it in the clips it's slightly too 
big for me I'm not sure how well it will look in the clips but it's a beautiful top reminds me a bit of a corset as you can see with a heart-shaped neckline we don't really see a lot of heart-shaped necklines in the show but I feel like it's definitely a neckline that is super super flattering and definitely very royal princessy so I felt like I had to show you guys and I feel like this makes me think of Aurora like the Disney because the sleeves are crazy they're super beautiful that's what made me want to try it um, I feel like maybe that's a piece that doesn't scream so much Bridgerton but the fact that it's like a little bit puff sleeves and these sleeves are so long and beautiful and it reminds me of a corset I felt like it would be perfect for the video it's also light pink I don't know if you can tell on camera it's a light pink but it also feels a bit like a peachy light pink but it definitely is a beautiful piece if you want to go for longer sleeves as well so for the tops now that I'm looking these are the ones I picked up I really wanted to pick like particular tops that I knew you guys or you girlies would love now I did get a set though that I already showed you guys in last week's video I did a day in my life with my Pomeranian um, go check it out if you want to it's a fun vlog very chill and I was showing you a little bit the packages I received and I was telling you that there was a very fun video coming up and I showed you the set that actually I'm definitely keeping like um, I already wore it obviously for the vlog so this is from the brand I think it's actually a Swiss brand I really hope you guys can find it I mean I do know mango does something similar so if I find a similar version I will link it down below but this is from the brand G why I don't know but anyways it comes with this little cami top which is so cute so it's not cropped it's just like a cami um, very very pretty it's lilac I mean it reminds me a bit of a mauve like light purple color and as you can see you have the little flowers I feel like I saw a lot of flowers in the first season and also the second I feel like they do still have a lot of these little small flowers all over their clothing and I just felt like it was perfect color because I saw a lot of purple or like light purple in the new season and it comes since it's a set it comes with a cardigan this little one so it's long sleeve and you tie it in front I already kind of showed you in the vlog but I will put close-ups as usual so this set um, when I saw it I just like I've been wanting a set like that for so long I'm gonna show you now a skirt I didn't get many like skirts afterwards it's mainly dresses and accessories this skirt girls like come on what and this skirt is from Misguided once again. I got it in 38, but funnily enough, I love it so much. I decided to get it in a size um, smaller, 36, because this is slightly too big. Um, it doesn't fit so well around my waist. It's a beautiful light pink with small flowers that are pink, white, and also light purple. And I love the back because look at that. It's all ruched 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 i don't know how you say that word i'll put it on the screen it's like when you gather all the material to one certain point and this is literally what it looks like it's super flattering it's not so short so it's pretty nice as well because it's nice to have short things but it's also sometimes not so great because it might not be always comfortable and the sides are also the same the material is all gathered up right here that's so cute so this screamed bridgerton colors to me so that's why i got it so as i told you guys i got mainly dresses i feel like even though i had a, quite a few tops to show you i have very pretty dresses to show you as well the very first dress I'm gonna show you is this peachy one and it's from the brand before I show you I'll tell you American Eagle so very cute so let me show you that and it's this dress oh my gosh it's so hard to show you on camera like this I'm so happy I can show you better like me wearing it but this is a beautiful dress it's not too short once again uh, super comfortable it's size s this is a long sleeve dress and I feel like the sleeves are much lighter than the rest of the dress it's not necessarily sheer I mean actually it could be I guess no it's actually not sheer but as you can see there's once again similar little flowers to what I showed you before it's all in the same theme as you realize but yeah so this I'm loving it very much uh, one of my favorite dresses from the haul but as I said I won't be keeping it because it's a little bit too big and I also don't think the color is exactly my type of color at least but 
yeah and i can't i can't keep everything in the haul i wish but i really can't the other dress though i got it in a size smaller when i received it at first because i tried it on for the video and i was like okay it's a little big so i got it in a size smaller because i was thinking about keeping it however i also got it in another color which i'm going to show you and i'm kind of torn between both so i'm going to show you this is from hollister this time and it's this one. Oh my god this reminds me so much of daphne um there's two dresses actually that reminds me of daphne because i feel like i associate daphne to light blue a hundred percent so yeah but i feel like they wear a lot of light blue also in the new season but this is so beautiful the front like around the bust area reminds me a lot of bridgerton this is again long sleeves and sheer kind of sleeves it's very similar to the american eagle one so i mean i don't know let me know what you think from the close-ups as well i feel like the whole neckline is super bridgerton though much more than this dress a hundred percent much more so this is the dress that i love and i'm still debating if i want to keep it or not because you guys i got it in another color and i really like it even though it's not a color you might expect i wonder how long this video is gonna be because i have so much to show you i didn't expect that i got the same dress also from hollister same, same size it's a 36 i got the black version don't really wear a lot of black in the show because i feel like black is really associated to death but nevertheless i wanted to try it in black because i don't really own a lot of black dresses and this one is so chic like i'm really thinking about keeping it like Honestly, I think more than the blue one. Black one though has my heart. So I got it in black. I am gonna show it to you anyways and link in below if you're interested. And finally, the last dress, because I'm checking a little bit all over the place, is a dress I will not be keeping, even though it's a very pretty dress. But this was inspired, completely inspired by Daphne. Um, I feel like I would have liked it a little bit lighter. Like this is a bit too dark, I feel like. Look at that. And it's super long. I mean, I'll put the clips in a minute but um it's a bit of a dark bluish color um i mean it's not that dark to be honest but compared to the other ones definitely not light blue and i prefer pastels i feel like this also to match really the bridgerton aesthetic should be a little bit lighter um but still nevertheless i think it's very nice the sleeves were very much um, related to the aesthetic like very cottage core kind of style and the neckline really got me even though it's a heart neckline i think that with the sleeves like this it reminds me a lot of these like very square necklines that they have and obviously i did want to show you guys a long dress because all of them are pretty short and even though it's just an inspired bridgerton haul i did want to show a longer dress i also as you saw um didn't really show you a lot of dresses with like sparkles and stuff because i feel like i wanted to do something wearable and i also wanted to like pick things from that haul to keep and if it were just like sparkles and stuff i don't think i would have kept anything because that's not really what i'm searching for but yeah so anyways this is something i'm very happy about and i think it's super dreamy and princessy still accessories and shoes to go through so i'm just going to show you uh, two three accessories that I wanted to uh, pick up and show you guys there's not a lot of bags on the show because at that time uh, bags were not really a thing they used to have like I believe um, quote, don't quote me on that in case but I believe at the time they had like very small like mini pouches kind of that would um, serve as a bag but they didn't have like actual bags so I couldn't really choose which bag to show you and I just didn't want to like buy like bags just to show you something similar to the aesthetic so i just went with one which i feel honestly this one is the only piece that has like a lot of sparkles but it's this one this to me is bridgerton a hundred percent like look at this it's light pink um a bit blush and lots of sparkles it's from the brand glamorous i don't know if you guys know it i don't know where it comes from as i said i will link everything down below so i'll let you know where this comes from but this is the perfect little bag for the princess in you that is inspired by Bridgerton. So as you can see, it's just a simple pouch. Inside you actually have a little chain like this and you have one little pocket and the rest is all like blush and silky. That's the only little bag I'm gonna show you because I thought this was the perfect type. So, and then I also got a headpiece. Unfortunately, it does have still the tag on it and I really cannot take it off. And I'm probably not gonna keep it because even though I absolutely love the color, I love the design, I just feel like the actual headpiece is a bit too big and it's a little headband. It's this light blue headband uh, with sparkles all over. I definitely saw a lot of these like silky headbands for like Bridgerton inspired looks um, with or without little gems, that's up to you, but silky and I guess pretty big or smaller as well. 
As you can see, I have three boxes right here of shoes, only shoes. So we're gonna start with the first one. I have to like put this somewhere. A pair of shoes. So I looked a bit at Bridgerton, um, like the pictures and the, the like the overall like aesthetic, and I didn't see a lot of um, heel. I feel like they don't really wear a lot of heels. I feel like they would wear more like flat. But I wanted to find something with a twist, and this is where the sparkles come in. You haven't seen many sparkles before, but now I did this on purpose, and I found three really cool shoes. And these are the first ones. So let me just take off all the stuff. Look at this shoe. So it's a flat shoe, as you can see. It's a bit of this dark beige color and it has gems all over right here. You also have this silver accent all over the tiny little heel. I mean, it's not so flat, I guess, but it's pretty flat. There are pointy shoes. I feel like pointy might not be the exact aesthetic of the show. Maybe it's a bit more rounded, but I only have pointy shoes to show you because I feel like they are very much inspired by royalty. And I will link them below because they exist in different colors. I actually really like them. I would love to keep them, but I don't need shoes right now. Um, they also have them in white. I feel like white would be so pretty too. So normal ones from Betsy Johnson. I heard so much from um, people about this brand. I've never tried that brand before. And I got these ones. These are so dreamy. These are perfect for like comfortable wedding shoes, I feel like, or like if you're just at the party afterwards, I don't know. These are a pair that I picked up to show you guys that would be perfect for, you know, Bridgerton. I feel like this and this matches so well. So I'm really obsessed with those actually. And last but not least, Jeffrey Campbell. I've never bought anything from them either. Uh, but anyways, I love the box by the way. It's all a cartoon. How cool is that? Are you ready? You better be ready. Look what? Excuse me. I mean, look at that huge bow in the front, which is super sparkly and a bit of this like mix between light pink and uh, white. I feel like they belong in a museum, um, but they are incredible. Like they are like a work of art. So these are actually the last shoes I wanted to show you guys and also the last um, item actually from this haul. I was scared that this haul was not going to be long enough and I feel like in the end I've been filming for nearly 30 minutes. I don't know how long this video is actually going to be post-editing. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. It's down below. It's the red button below. It's 100% free and it means a lot to me. And I will see you next week in my next video. Bye everyone!